In this problem, we're asked to find the x-intercepts of y equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. Well, how do we find the x-intercept for any equation? You find the x-intercept by setting y equal to 0. So I'm going to have 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. So all I have here is a quadratic equation that we need to solve. And remember, we're going to compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So I need everything written in descending order on one side, 0 on the other. Well, I have 0 on this side. Is everything written in descending order here? Yes. So whether I'm going to factor or use the quadratic formula, I need to find a. a is the coefficient of the x squared term, so it's just 1. b is the coefficient of the x, so it's 2. c is the constant term, it is negative 15. Well, let's see if this will factor. a times c is 1 times negative 15, which is negative 15. So I need two numbers that multiply to AC, my negative 15, and they have to add to the B term, which is positive 2. Multiply to a negative, the signs are different. Add to a positive, the bigger number has to be the positive number. So I could have negative 1 times 15, those definitely multiply to negative 15, negative 1 plus 15, uh, that doesn't give me what I want because that adds up to 14. Does 2 divide into 15? No. Does 3 divide into 15? Yes. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, and negative 3 plus 5 equals positive 2. Is that the number I'm looking for? Yes. So here are my two factors. Remember, this is the easy factoring since a was equal to 1. When a was equal to 1, these are my two factors. So I'm just going to get x minus 3 times x plus 5. Now, two numbers multiplied together equal 0. One of them has to be 0, so you set them both equal to 0. And on the first one, you're going to add 3 to both sides, so you get x equals 3. The second one, subtract 5 from both sides, you get x equals negative 5. So now I've found my x-intercepts. Now remember, this represents two different x-intercepts. A lot of students try and put these numbers together and say that's the x-intercept. No. There are two different x-intercepts. The first one has the x-coordinate of 3. What's the y-coordinate? 0. So there's my one of my x-intercepts. And what's the other one? Negative 5, 0. So there are my two x-intercepts.